For those of you that have vehicles that are used as commuters and on the weekends and uh, holidays used as overland vehicles, it's often not practical to fix a permanent solar energy system to your vehicle. So here's an offering by solar to go It's portable, it all comes in this jacket. This is their 120 watt unit. It folds in two. It's nicely made. It has legs that come out and are adjustable. It's really quite nice. It's simple. I like it because it's simple. It's not complicated. The cabling that comes with it, you basically just have to plug one thing in and snap it onto your battery. And it comes with a solar regulator. And these, are, these regulators are actually built for solar and, and they work very, very well. It gives basic indication of, at the moment, we're sitting at 12.5 volts. That's giving me my current from the solar panel, from the sun into the battery. The little icons explain it very clearly. If I press it again, it now gives me my load. I've taken the load off these last two points here and the load is 4.7 amps. At the moment, I'm running a small light and the cooler box which together are pulling 4.7 amps. So you basically subtract the current coming in, the current coming out, and you will then have a net negative or a net positive current. A very, very nice, simple solution to solar portability. Now, one thing about solar panel, as we were filming this, the current dropped about one amp delivered from the panel to the battery. And that was because of this little bit of shade here, this tiny little bit of shade here. So a solar panel is very, very sensitive to how much sunlight falls upon it. In fact, I reckon that if I move this now and turn it just a little bit more efficiently towards the sun, taking it completely out of shade, I'll get an extra amp. Let's see. Let's see here, 5.7 amps, 5.7, 5.8 amps. What was it before? It was 4 point something, wasn't it? 4.8 amps out. So we've gained almost an amp just by that little, little adjustment.